today. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-edit yung buhok mo nakikita, Beshi. Today, we're going to tackle how I edit my pictures on Instagram because a lot of you are asking how I edit my pictures on Instagram. So, it's very easy. I'm going to show you this step by step. Tsaka yung mga apps na gagamitin ko. Okay, so let's give it rolling. Shh. Mas ka dito. <laughs> Nahihiya ako. <laughs> and so, I'll give you like the tips for before going to the apps that I'm using. Tip number one is for you to... Oops. Tip number one is if you are like taking a picture with your phone or with your, with your phone mainly, is for you to adjust the brightness first of your phone. So if we are like taking a picture, I don't know if you will see this. In this case, para kasi makita mo yung mga angulo na magandang gawin. Ayan. Guys, kasi, ayan, papakita ko. Kapag naka-low, kapag sapat lang yung light ng phone mo, kapag nagtitake ka ng picture, hindi mo makikita yung mga, yung mga ito, yung frame niya. So, if you adjust the brightness of your phone, klarong-klaro, kitang-kita mo lahat ng angles ng subject. Ayan, ba? So, for my phone, I am using an iPhone XS Max for, for taking pictures. So, don't normally bring my camera because it's heavy. Parang sobrang, sobrang ano kasi, matrabaho kapag dadali mo pa yung camera tapos ililipat mo pa siya from camera to phone. Hat ng pictures ko sa Instagram, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung Instagram ko. This is my Instagram. Oop. Ayan, medyo loud sila sa labas kasi birthday ng tita ko. Mga bata. Ayan. This is my Instagram account. This is currently my feed. We can see here on my feed, the theme that I'm trying to achieve is fall theme. Ayan, so earthy, earthy colors. So yun yung gusto kong i-achieve. This is more of like, for me, is like, aesthetic and vintage on this part but I like this a lot because I super love um, fall so yun. tip number one is for you to adjust the brightness of your phone before taking a picture tip number two is to use the phone lock or like the adjust adjustment when you take a picture so I'll show you here so okay so for example this is our subject that is the default when you open the camera, right? Yan na yung default na light and everything. But for me, you need to like, kung tingnan yung, that's too bright. Kailangan mong i-adjust pa yung lights as you decide. For example, I want to like, adjust the light on, on this part because it's like too dark. So I'll just focus on that side, then like adjust the lighting like that. For taking pictures, I normally use the effect dramatic because it gives emphasis on the color, the color black, and it's like simple elegant ang dating niya. Unlike for original picture, you see the difference. You see the difference, and tapos si edit pa natin siya mamaya. Tip number three is for you to look at your angles, and you need to play with the lights. So I have got the lights in here. Oops. There. You see? Kung alam mo kung paano laruin yung angles, kung alam mo kung paano mo tinginan yung angulo mo, and the lights as well, it would be like really good. So for here, I'm going to show you the apps that I'm using, but most of the time, pag tinatamad na akong mag-edit, I'm just using like the, the adjustment ng ingay ng mga bata. Adjustment ng phone ko mismo. And mind you guys, in this pictures in here on my feed and this picture on my feed i'm only using an iphone 6 on there i think it still look beautiful like another tip dagdag ko na lang siya sa tip number three in order for you to look for your angle you also need to have like your body but if you don't have a body or if you're like going solo you can also put like your phone somewhere 
just make sure na hindi siya ma kuha ng ibang tao. So, for for this kasi, usually ang ginagawa ko, if I have a friend with me, I will just tell them what to do and where to end. So, yun. So, for example, um, let's see. Usually kasi ang ginagawa ko is I ask them like, Hey, do you want me to take a picture of you? And they, if they would say yes, I would like take a picture so I would know the the good angle of of the place. Tapos kapag nalaman ko na yung angulo ng place, ayun, sasabihin ko lang na, ay, papakita ko lang yung picture. Tapos uulitin yun na lang ulit namin yung angulo kung paano ko picture yung pictures nila. Parang hindi lang pag-usap. Wala lang kung sa-usap. Sa 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 yes, guys, you will be shook. Because on this, like on this side of my feed, I only use iPhone 5s in here. I have so much blubbering. I'll just so go switch to the apps that I'm using. Okay, so for here, we already took a several pictures of me with my sister a while ago. Just for me to show you how I do the edits. Let's see what I wanna. Because I have like several pictures here. Let's start with yung medyo malayo ang picture. Where is that where I was smiling? There you go, where I was smiling. So in here, this is so dramatic. I like this effect of the lights. And it complements the white shirt, the white tops that I'm wearing and this aesthetic um, pants that I have. So in this case, because this is, oh yeah, this is not on dramatic yet. So you see, you see the difference when I put it on dramatic, it looks like super powerful when you put it on dramatic mode so i normally just adjust first the shadows i don't know but shadows for me is is kind of important okay so brightness there and the brilliance brilliance is like my favorite part of the editing on my phone like i think it saved me a lot. Pag yung picture sobrang sobrang dark, brilliance is my my best friend for that. So yeah, just nothing in the map there. Let's see, that is like look at the. Let's see if we can see. The this is the after, and this is the before, and this is the after. Look at the changes, like it. It made like a huge change in my photo and I already super love this I can just post this instantly without editing on the application but yeah I'm going to show you the application that I'm using I normally just use this apps mainly 1998.com camera I also use the RNI films but not too much I mostly use the 1998 camera so let's just use the 1998.com and you can just simply, you can actually take a picture directly from this app already, like take a picture like that and it has like default, I don't like the default, I don't know how to change that but yeah let's just import the picture that I want to edit. So this is the picture. So when you import a picture from your gallery, it will give you like this default so with this we can see like a filter in here adjustment in here like this ha has its own adjustments too and it's really good they also have this is like one of the favorites as well like the, the light effects but here I'll show you later how I do do all editings for dust, because ngayon, di ba parang nauso na ngayon yung pictures with all the dust, like it has like a vintage effects. This as well, I I never use this part, but yep, I'll show you how I do it. So in this side, okay, these four these filters are usually the filters that I use. So let's see what will what we can do here. We can adjust it like that. But you see guys, I look so pale in there, but let's let's correct that later. Like this, put some dust. I don't really put too much dust. This one is D20, but then I adjust it depending. In this case, I'll just like maybe do 40. Yes. And this is like one of my favorites. Look at that. So you can also adjust the okay this is the opacity 
So, like, kung gano siya, kung gano karami yung lights, yung effect na gusto mong gawin. And you, you can also adjust the U. Like, look at that. Look at all of that effects. This is really beautiful, but it's just too much. So, let's adjust it like a bit. Like, about... Let's do about 45. 40, yeah. Okay. I like this a lot because you can also um, make the 3D effect. Like, look at that. Look at the changes. Like, it got blurry on this side and on that side. Okay, you can also adjust the sharpness if you want the picture to, like, look more clear. Like, the 3D effect of 47. So, I just adjusted it to 69. You can also put, like, some grains. But, oh, that's too much. That's just a little bit. Or maybe not. Yeah. I think that is already enough just so it would dive on the the fit that I have because of the color and in this picture you can see like in my dome sapater I want to remove all of that we can either use airbrush or snap seed in removing the dust let's just use the snap seed okay so go to tools and, oh yeah healing look Look at that! Look at that! Yay! You guys! Nice and moon! Ayan, ang linis, linis. Save that. Go. That is the final look of the picture that we took a while ago. And I'm so happy with this. Let's see the... God! The kids are so, so loud. I don't know if you can hear it from the audio, but they're so loud. So this is the before and this is the after. Like look at the huge change guys. Like I can already post this right now. But <laughs> try did not um, selfie. Okay. And what's good good about this 1998 com is it it's safe. The the pictures that you edited. So just in case that you deleted it, you can still like have a copy of it. Let's remove the date. I don't want it with dates. So in here, wala ka naman makikita masyadong changes. Like, look, nagpa-brighten lang siya. But I just want it to like jive on the, the fed that I currently have already on, on Instagram. So let's see. They're not too much. But let's see if, because for selfies, I don't normally like use this this um buttons already like this features let's see what we can use in here uh oh that was nice maybe change the color there that's one let's adjust the opacity and so we'll just put a little bit of dust Oh, that's so much. That's one right there. Yes. Oh, this is also nice. I wouldn't look like super pale in this. Maybe I'll just use this. Uh, oh, look at that. I look so thin. Oh, look at that. Look at the change. I think the color is too much okay so in here kapag na edit mo na kasi sa, sa 1998 cam 1998 cam it's really nice kasi parang kailangan pwede mo pa siyang balikan so ito just click this button right here pwede mo pa siyang i-re-edit ulit so this is really nice yo guys ganun lang ako kasimple mag-edit yun nga sabi ko sa inyo kapag tinatamad ako usually yung first editing lang ginagawa ko like adjust the the shadows the brightness and the brilliance especially yung brilliance guys that has been like my go-to and, and one more thing pala guys I also have like a planning on the the pictures that I post out on my Instagram account so for that this is like very user-friendly so I'm using preview for you to like plan the post that you want to make in the future so these are the pictures that are like pending the post <laughs> yes so I don't want it like super planned, but I want it like a simple plan, if that makes sense. 
so this is currently my feed I just posted this picture and let's see if it will jive on the feed that we have right now I think I might want to just upload this one not the selfie one because I just uploaded a selfie let's see if it will jive oh look at that for me I normally have like picture of me alternate me an object me let's see if this one will jive like look at that it looked neat already for this I think hindi ko nasunod yung ganong you know like Selfie, 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 like too much of me. For the pictures naman na, like I took like this kind of picture. This is the picture that I took when we went to Bulinao. I want to post it on my social media accounts, but I'm afraid because there's no watermarks in here. And people will just screenshot it and repost it without putting your name like, hey, credits to this one. I want. So sometimes I also put, for example, this picture so it doesn't have my name on it so I use uh, this this application Fonto for a watermark so I just put my name on Instagram it's Galilean 00 so I just simply like just maybe hide it somewhere there and just save it to my gallery this is a photo I also edited on 1998 app and as you can see I put the watermark right there so if people want to repost my picture without asking a permission from me I have a watermark I have my name in there so that is the way how I edit my pictures and how I plan the pictures that I will be posting on my social media account so I'm not working on my followers really but you see I have like 3,000 plus followers I don't know how I get that followers but maybe by mainly like tagging the brands that I wear I normally do that so people would reach you out so for example this one and they want me to like be their brand ambassador or whatever I tag here so I tag here the forever 21 as my tops and root 21 on my shirts two of them like reach me out and says they want to collab on me so that is also one of the ways that your picture will get like more traffic on Instagram so you lang guys if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and share it to your friends if you have like any suggestions of videos that you want to see from me or expect from me on this channel don't forget to drop it on the comment box below and we'll see what we can do with it thank you so much guys again for watching i hope you learned a thing or a two today from my video and hope to see you guys in the next videos thank you for watching